India's indigenous Kaveri jet engine is currently undergoing a critical phase of testing in Russia. This development marks a significant moment for the Defense Research and Development Organization, DRDO. The trials are focused on a derivative of the Kaveri. This specific version is designed to power India's ambitious unmanned combat aerial vehicle, UCAV, programs. The successful completion of these tests could herald a new era for Indian aerospace and defence capabilities. It signals a determined push towards achieving self-reliance in a highly complex and strategically vital technological domain. The current round of evaluations in Russian facilities is not merely a technical exercise. It represents the culmination of decades of perseverance, research and substantial investment. The Kaveri engine program has faced numerous hurdles since its inception. These challenges included technological complexities and international sanctions that sought to impede India's progress. Yet the DRDO and its gas turbine research establishment, GTRE, have pressed on. The focus now is squarely on validating the engine's performance for unmanned systems. This is a crucial step before it can be integrated into platforms like the Gatak UCAV, the engine's reliability, endurance and seamless integration with aircraft systems are under intense scrutiny. The successful operation of the Kaveri in Russian skies could indeed be the precursor to a significant enhancement in India's air power. The Kaveri engine's development journey has been a long and arduous one. It spans over two decades of dedicated effort by the gas turbine research establishment GTRE, an institution operating under the DRDO. The project was initially conceived with a different primary objective. It was intended to power India's indigenous light combat aircraft, LCA Tejas. This fighter jet program was itself a cornerstone of India's quest for self-sufficiency in military aviation. However, the path to developing a suitable power plant for a fourth-generation fighter proved to be fraught with immense challenges. The original Kaveri project encountered significant delays and numerous technical setbacks. International sanctions imposed at various times further complicated the development process by restricting access to crucial technologies and components. Despite these setbacks, the Kaveri project was never entirely abandoned. It was strategically revived and repurposed it with a renewed focus on unmanned aerial platforms. A significant turning point came around 2016 with a collaboration initiated with French aerospace firm Safran. The current iteration of the Kaveri being tested for UCAVs is a non-afterburning derivative. The decision to conduct crucial tests of the Kaveri engine in Russia was driven by practical and technical considerations. Russia possesses advanced high-altitude engine testing facilities that India currently lacks. These specialized facilities are capable of simulating the extreme environmental conditions that an aircraft engine would encounter during real-world operations. Such conditions include freezing temperatures, significantly reduced air pressure at high altitudes up to 15 kilometers and various high-speed scenarios. Testing in these simulated extreme conditions is particularly vital for an engine intended to power stealth drones. These UCAVs are often designed to operate in sensitive border regions such as the high-altitude terrains of Ladakh and Arunachal Pradesh. The engine must demonstrate unwavering reliability and consistent performance across a wide spectrum of temperatures and altitudes. The Russian facilities offer the capability to push the Kaveri to its limits. This ensures it can withstand the rigors of such challenging operational theaters without compromise to its function or longevity. The data gathered from these high-altitude simulation tests is indispensable. The future of the Kaveri engine is inextricably linked to India's secretive Gatak UCAV program. The Gatak, which translates to deadly or lethal, is envisioned as a stealthy, autonomous, flying, wing-shaped, unmanned combat aerial vehicle. Its design concept draws parallels with advanced international platforms such as the American B-2 Spirit Bomber or the developmental Northrop Grumman MQ Next. This ambitious project represents a significant leap in India's indigenous defense capabilities. The Kaveri engine, specifically its non-afterburning derivative, has been identified as the primary power plant for the Gatak UCAV. For a stealth UCAV, attributes like a reduced infrared signature 
Good fuel efficiency for extended loiter times and high reliability are often prioritized over the sheer thrust an afterburner provides. The dry thrust version of the Caveri, generating around 46 to 48 kilonewtons, is deemed suitable for the Gatak mission profile. The integration of the Caveri engine into the Gatak platform is a critical milestone for both projects. The Gatak is expected to carry a variety of precision-guided munitions. The Carveri engine's performance, particularly its heat signature and noise levels, will play a crucial role in the overall stealth characteristics of the Gatak UKAV. Section 5. Under the Hood. Deconstructing the Carveri engine's technology. The Carveri engine, in its current form tailored for UCAVs, is a low-bypass, twin-spool turbofan engine. It incorporates several advanced design features aimed at optimizing performance for its intended role. One notable characteristic is its flat-rated design. This feature helps to minimize the natural drop-in thrust that occurs as an aircraft climbs to higher altitudes or operates in high ambient temperatures. The engine also features a twin-lane Full Authority Digital Engine Control, or FADEC system, which provides precise control over engine parameters with a manual backup for redundancy. The dry thrust version of the Cavalry earmarked for the Gatak UKV is reported to generate approximately 46 to 48 kilonewtons of thrust. The engine's weight is stated to be around 1,100 kilograms. It is designed to operate efficiently at a top cruising altitude of approximately 15 kilometers. A key achievement of the Kaveri program is its high indigenous content, which is reported to be over 85%. The core of the Kaveri engine, known as the Kabini, is considered a significant technological achievement. It comprises the high-pressure compressor, the combustor, and the high-pressure turbine. Section 6, Strategic Autonomy Kaveri's Impact on India's Defence Posture The successful development and operationalization of the Kaveri engine, particularly when integrated with platforms like the Gatak UCAV, holds profound strategic implications for India's defence posture. One of the most significant impacts will be the enhancement of India's strategic autonomy. For decades, India has relied heavily on foreign suppliers for jet engines, a critical component for any modern air force. This dependence creates vulnerabilities, including potential supply chain disruptions, restrictions on technology transfer, and geopolitical leverage exerted by supplier nations. An indigenous engine like Kaveri mitigates these risks considerably. Achieving self-reliance in aero engine technology is a long-cherished goal for India. It directly supports the Atmanirbar Bharat Self-Reliant India initiative, especially within the high-stakes defense sector. The Kaveri project, despite its protracted development timeline and the nearly 3,000 crore rupees incurred in costs, has been instrumental in building a domestic ecosystem of knowledge, skills and industrial capability in this niche field. The expertise gained in designing, developing, testing and manufacturing complex engine components is invaluable. Section 7. A time-tested partnership Indo-Russian defense cooperation deepens. The ongoing testing of the Kaveri engine in Russia is another chapter in the long-standing and robust defense collaboration between India and Russia. This partnership has been a cornerstone of India's defense preparedness for many decades, weathering geopolitical shifts and evolving international alignments. It is a relationship built on mutual trust and shared strategic interests. Past joint ventures and technology transfers have significantly contributed to India's military capabilities. Notable examples include the co-development of the BrahMos supersonic cruise missile and Russia's assistance in India's nuclear submarine program. Russia's willingness to provide its advanced high-altitude testing facilities for the Kaveri engine trials further underscores the strength of this strategic partnership. Access to such specialized infrastructure is crucial for validating the engine's performance under extreme conditions. This assistance not only helps accelerate the Kaveri program, but also facilitates the transfer of valuable technical insights and operational best practices. Section 8. Beyond Gatak, the expanding horizons for the Kaveri engine. While the immediate focus of the Kaveri engine's current derivative is to power the Gatak UKV, the DRDO envisions a broader range of applications for this indigenous power plant in the future. 
The successful validation and operationalization of the engine for the Gatak will serve as a crucial stepping stone. It will pave the way for adapting the Kaveri technology for other unmanned aerial platforms currently under development or planned by India. This could include various classes of drones from medium-altitude long-endurance surveillance drones to other specialized unmanned systems requiring reliable and efficient turbofan propulsion. The core Kabini technology, which forms the heart of the Kaviri engine, holds significant potential for further development and scaling. DRDO plans to leverage this advanced core for future engine programs. There is also an ongoing effort to develop a maritime variant of the Kaveri, known as the Kaveri Marine Gas Turbine. This derivative is intended for ship propulsion, specifically for Indian Navy warships. Section 9, the self-reliance imperative, Kaveri and India's aerospace ambitions. The development saga of the Kaveri engine is a powerful illustration of India's persistent journey towards achieving self-reliance in the critical aerospace and defence sector. Mastering aero engine technology is notoriously difficult. Only a handful of nations worldwide possess the comprehensive capability to design, develop and manufacture advanced jet engines. For India, a nation with significant security challenges and growing global aspirations, reducing dependence on foreign suppliers for such vital military hardware is not just a matter of industrial policy but a profound strategic imperative directly linked to its sovereignty and freedom of action. Comparing the Kaveri's development trajectory to global counterparts reveals common challenges faced by emerging aerospace powers. Projects like the Eurojet EJ-200 powering the Eurofighter Typhoon or the Schnecma M-88 powering the Dassault Rafale also had long gestation periods and required substantial investment and international collaboration. The Kaveri project, initiated in an era of stricter technology denial regimes, faced even greater hurdles. However, the perseverance has resulted in the accumulation of invaluable expertise and the creation of a foundational ecosystem for future advancements in this high-technology domain within India. The Make in India initiative receives a significant boost from projects like the Kaveri.